And the curveball slugged to deep left field. Forget that. Ozzy Albies connects. A two run homer for Albies is 24th of the year. And now the Braves lead 7 to 3. Well. No doubt about this oh, the breaking ball just stayed flat and over the inner half and you saw Jerry's expression there and he knew it right away that that ball was Adios amigo fairly crushed. So it has been an implosion by the Mets bullpen the Braves with four in the seventh three now in the eighth. Two and two that ball is hit in the air left field. Brantley at the warning track. It is gone. Surgery can wait. Nineteen home runs, forty-eight driven in, and Avi would dearly love to get to that twenty mark. He's just one away a towering home run our Ford home run replay. This is a hanging curveball. And it is enough to take it at least 15 rows back. Now he puts a charge into it. Just nice. perfect. That ball's hit well to left field and gone. Five to the runner, four to the batter, one to the Indians. Four to two. Unfortunately, Jan Gomes doing what he has done, which is try to pull the ball, and this one took it down the line all the way, stayed inside the pole, and home run number 16 for Gomes. Danny Jansen giving the signs to Gavilio with Springer at second. Fly ball left field. This ball is going to go over the wall for a two run home run Alex Bregman. He was on the verge of walking. It's called the strike. And he comes up with his 31st home run and the Astros have a quick two nothing lead. Yeah you know, who wants to walk when you could swing the bat that way like Alex Bregman and that's 53 straight games now that he has reached base. That's a new franchise record. Bring it a drive. This ball's gonna go. Billy McKinnon has just put the Blue Jays on the board. His sixth home run of the season. McKinney's showing a little pop here. Some things that you gotta like about Billy McKinney when we have watched him this month of September. He's got a little pop. He gives you tough at bats. Ryan O'Hearn, he doubled into right center field, which had set up that first run of the game. And here's a towering fly ball into deep right field, and that one will lead the ballpark. That's a two run home run for Ryan O'Hearn. Uh, Perez was holding up between first and second base and O'Hearn was careful not to watch the baseball as much as he was watching the runner in front of him didn't want to pass the preceding runner Perez didn't allow that and he's thinking man I love this ballpark a little hanging breaking ball boy and, and it's funny tonight from what I'm seeing with Harvey his curveball is much more effective than his his slider. That is just barely out of the reach of Philip Irvin. Oh my. Three balls and a strike. Herrera lifts a fly ball in a deep right center field, and he's played long ball. Dan side. That's a third pinch hit home run. Herrera has hit since being brought up from the minor leagues. How about that? Four home runs overall. That is the Colombian flag right there. Gilson Herrera is from Cartagena, Colombia. He just waits back and drives his baby the other way. That's a good looking swing right there. 
lot of thunder in that bat. Or comes into the game to play right field, taking over for Urban. And this ball is driven into deep left field. And that one is out of here, a home run by Hunter Dozier to lead off the Kansas City ninth inning. They believe Do Dozier is going to be their third baseman of the future now that they've traded away Moustakas to the Brewers. Number 11. That is hit. That is home run number 12. And this one is headed for the seats. Bellinger's 24th, and it's 1 0 LA. Pretty nice adjustment there in mid at bat by Bellinger. He cooked, cooked through a fastball right by him. He just blew it by him, and then Bellinger made the adjustment, pulled his hands in a little bit closer to his body, got the barrel on that one, and no doubter to right field. 3 2 from Kenta Maeda. And there it goes! Ball game! Second with a walk off in 15. There goes another one. See you later. Three nothing Nats, and Anthony Rendon's RBI total is up to 90. Better than San Antonio. That ball is crushed and right out of here, and it's nine to three. Peter O'Brien, fourth homer in his 18th big league game. Here's Aguilar, their big slugger. 33 home runs. And a fly ball out to right. Martinez back. He'll look up. 1 0 Milwaukee. Goes the other way. 34 home runs for Aguilar. It's one of the strengths of Gomber. He doesn't give up very many home runs. That's just the fifth home run he's allowed. But this is a slugging team. And they changed the lineup a little bit, but they still have some thump on the bat on the bench also. So this is a very good offensive ball club that Milwaukee is, is playing with. Yeah, Travis Shaw, Shaw sitting tonight. He struck out three times. You got scope in there, and Arcia sits, and you add in Hernan Perez, and he can swing the bat. Well, that's just power right there. Yeah, just taking the pitch away from him, driving out into right field. And the 1 1 to Braun. Out to left. 2 0. Those numbers may change tonight. <laughs> well, it looked like going to be a real quick and efficient first inning has turned into a couple runs, two long balls off the bat. Not what Gomber want to do. Starting pitcher sets the tone, and you really want to go out there and put up a zero, get your team. But another cutter right in the middle of the pit, of the plate, and they're being hit. Molina hits it out to deep left at the wall. Goodbye. Three run homer. Molina.
get right back in the game. High fastball. This time he gets up on it. Throw a high fastball. And a lot of times you get the swing and miss and pop up, but he was looking for it. He centered it and hits the three run and the Cardinals are right back in this ball game. And that's drilled into left center off the bat of Braun and it's gone. Two run homer Ryan Braun. His second tonight third in this series. Leaderboard in so many offensive categories for Milwaukee. Just had picks up the second home run, just middle half in, 96 miles an hour, but he knew it. And so two outs and two on, and Yelich lifts a high fly ball into center. Bader back at the wall, leaps and it's gone. Three run homer for Yelich. Six RBIs for Yelich today. over the yellow line and into the seats in left. Right there in the front row, Antiberia gives New York a one nothing lead. Reminiscent of a left handed hitter. You know they like that ball down and in. And that's what this is. Just drop the barrel right on it. into deep left. Fan will go to the wall and that one is gone. 3-1 pitch and Sanchez connects. Stanton has scored. Walker has crossed the plate and Sanchez with a three-run blast. And the Yankees have put together a monster inning. 17th home run. For Sanchez, it's a seven-nothing ball game now. Boy, when you're struggling out on the mound, a hitter can start to eliminate pitches, and you're just looking for that one fastball, knowing that he has to get back into the zone. And a shot back into left field, and Duhar is going to hit this one out on an 0-2 pitch. 26th home run of the year, driving in his second run of the night. It's nine to two. So Nuno touch for a long one. Oh, that is what this team does. Home run power sprinkled up and down the lineup. And how about getting up to that pitch? That is right about letter high. And and Duhar gets up to it and gets enough of it to get it out. The 1 0. This is rifled. What a shot back and gone. Nelson Cruz, you are incredible. With one swing, has tied this game at three. Got some laundry you need to hang. Well, now he's three for 19. <laughs> All three hits, home runs. That was impressive, as they usually are with Nelson Cruz. Ends up tying the game up.
Segura this year against the A's in 15 games is hitting over 370. And this is absolutely torched. Gene Segura second deck. Mariners within a run. Number 10 on the season for the Mariners shortstop. And that 370 average just jumped up. I mean, they're not just singles, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that there was an impressive was, home run. Some damage here, also. <laughs> Into the second deck. They're just trying to fight their way back into it. And Gene with a long home run to left field into the second deck. And takes advantage of like a fastball that was middle in. And it was belt high as he gets the barrel to it. Another well, Mariner with double digit home runs. Have a chance to get. To 200 innings with a little bit of time left. Heredia going back to the wall, and that baby's gone. Marcus Simeon with number 14, seven to five, A's lead. He's getting close to a nice round number himself. Yep, that's right. <laughs> and that was kind of a one-handed off-speed from this left-hander. Change up at 86, and there it goes. You see his two hands follow through nicely, but it sounded great off his back. This is high and deep, and this game, good night. Chris Herman walks it off. Just talking about it. He's a good fastball hitter. Pagan has been going at everybody with the fastball. And Chris Herman paying attention. The last left-handed hitter left on the bench, and the Mariners had a bunch of them. They hit the home run and walk it off. Uh, center cut fastball, middle, middle. Sends the Oakland A's with their first loss, 77 and one now after leading after eight. This is in the air, to pretty deep left field. Comes it's going back, and it is gone again. Three-run home run. Unfortunately, the same spot as last night. How do you like that, David Dahl? Wow. Are you kidding me? Two strikes, granted back. We're going to ask him tomorrow, did you think that was out? He's going to say the same thing he said today about last night. No. That's two strikes. He's going purposefully inside out. He's allowing the baseball to travel. High finish. I thought Cousins had a legitimate shot. Two for five with a homer, two knocked in last night. And he pulls one to deep left. Schwarber back, and it is gone. A three-run homer for Pablo Reyes. And the Pirates have the early lead. Well, uh, most fans, I imagine, probably had no idea who Pablo Reyes was before this series. I didn't. You've heard he's a hey, scrappy guy. He'll remind you of Craig Council because he holds the bat up high. That's about all the information we got on him. He had a nice year down in the minor league. Certainly not a slugger, but homers in each of the first two games of this series. Hunter Pence, uh, he may not be back next year with the Giants, but he would like to play more. That ball is hit well. Deep left center field. Way back there. Goodbye! A home run into left center, just to the left of the 382 marker. Hunter Pence draws the Giants to within one. Not a mislocation either from Erler. Two little breaking ball down and in, knee high, and Hunter Pitts just went in and golfed it out. The first six batters, it looks like Shoemaker has gotten back on track. Yeah, we talk about those four quadrants of the strike zone to hit. That's important. But also sure. making sure you don't make a mistake on a secondary pitch like he just did there. Yeah, one nothing. Joey Gallo hits his 40th of the season.
40th home run of the season for Joey Gallo. That power. We've seen him hit some mammoth home runs to center field here in this ballpark. It's an all speed pitch, and he was ready. Stayed down on that baseball so well in the dead center field. Back to back seasons of 40 home runs. We mentioned it last night. Now the. Uh,